Hate Machine Award for Crimes Against Gaming. Starfield. You know, it is our first new franchise in over 25 years, so if I was going to come, you know, it's for Starfield. Unity. <laughs> SJW. Microtransactions and gotcha games. Activision Blizzard. This parasitic entity who's done nothing but harm the games industry, the people who work on games, the developers. Game publishers have always been blood-sucking parasites, but dealing with them was often reserved for the end of the development process, allowing you to make the game of your dreams in peace. We live in a new era, where these vampires now intend to own and exploit the means of production as well, trapping you in a game of their own before it's barely even started. Once it was decided Unity was too big to fail, the CEO, John Ricciatello, concluded Unity's massive wealth and influence were not enough, and established a fee per install of each Unity game. A fee structure so ridiculous, and so easy to exploit, he was hoping the community would accept his calculated concessions after the heat died down. But Joey Rigatoni has once again underestimated the outrage he would cause amongst the communities he was claiming to serve. This repugnant snake managed to ruin Electronic Arts, win its two consecutive Golden Pool Awards for Worst Company of the Year, then land safely and comfortably as the head of Unity where he once again overplayed his hand by pulling the rug from under his customers and setting independent development back by five years. The rapid migration by these developers to Unreal, Godot, Game Maker, etc. has only served to highlight the level of dissatisfaction that was boiling up before this fee was even thought to exist, and served as both a convenient excuse to move on and the final straw. Congratulations, Unity. You have fucked around, and you have found out. <laughs>